Oh, hello and welcome to an episode of Should You Buy with me, Table. Today we're looking at a game called Factorio. Oh, and if you're clicking here, then you're considering getting this game. So let's go through. We're going to play for about an hour and we're going to go through and I'm just going to show you kind of the little bits and bobs you got to do. So let's get cracking. Uh, I'm going to go for rich resources because default is a little bit of a mish and we've only got an hour. So let's just... Uh, let's just do that, right? Generate map, don't need to worry about any of that. Let's go. So, uh, oh, oh yeah, there's been some, there's been some new updates, hasn't there? Tips and tricks, additional info, alt mode. Press alt to toggle the detailed info overlay, also known as alt mode. Ooh. Ah, so that shows you what's in them. Okay. Two sides of belts. Transport belts have two sides and they can be used to transport items. The left and right sides of the belts can be used in for different resources. Inserts drop things from the far side of the belt and take items from both sides. Ah, so they drop them on the far side and they take items from both sides. Oh, so we need to combine them. This is smart. This is efficient. That is very efficient, in fact. Wait, hang on, let's go back and look at that one. So it splits and it splits the coal and the iron. Ooh, that's way more efficient than the rubbish I've been doing. Boil connections, boiler connections. The boiler has free fluid connections. Water can flow freely in and out of the two water connections and pass the fluid through. Steam flows out of the output connection. Oh, so this can connect and continue on its way. Ah. Uh, flow through boilers. Uh, water can flow through boilers, water connections, allowing compact and simplified power systems. I did not know that was a thing. I must do that. Uh, electric network info. Press the left mouse button on the electric pole to show the statistics uh, of the electric network. Left mouse button to see the properties. Okay. Uh, other production products made in furnace. Furnaces can smelt stone into stone bricks and iron plate into steel once researched. Ooh. Placing tiles. Use the left mouse while holding the stone brick. Uh, in the cursor to place down stone path. Oh, there are other tile items such as concrete and landfill. Use right mouse while holding them to mine tiles. Oh, pad up and pad down to increase and decrease the side of the building area respectively. I did not know you could put down stone floor. Repairing. While holding down the repair pack in your cursor, use the left mouse button to repair. Okay. Oh my, so many. Pump connections. Pumps connect uh, stationary fluid wagons when they are aligned correctly. They are required to build and unload fluids from the fluid wagon. Okay, no problem. But they have to face the right way. Fluid backup. Fluid production, such as oil refinery, can be back up, can back up if any output is blocked. Uh, when the output is blocked, the machine will no longer operate. Uh, okay, so don't block the output. Okay, they can be avoided by making sure that there's sufficient storage. Okay, that's fairly bog standard. Ah, oh, there's more. Power switch connections. Ooh. While holding co the copper cable in your left cursor, uh, in your cursor, use left mouse button on the entity to connect to an electric cable and use left shift on the entity to remove all cables. Fine. Filter inserters. Use left mouse button on the filter inserter to open your GUI uh, where you can set, change, or remove its filters. A filter inserter will only pick up items set in the GUI filter. Fine. I like that. Filter insert inserter. That sounds useful. Now, I know this is a lot of information and you unlock this as you go. So to begin with, it might seem a bit overwhelming. And I get that because I was also really, really overwhelmed when I first started playing. Um, and I still don't know a lot of things. I'll be honest with you. Transfer between labs. Oh, inserters can be used to transfer science packs between labs. I didn't know this. That's amazing. Gates over rail. Gates can be built over any vertical or horizontal rails, trains will automatically open the gates to pass and will not leave a hole in your defences. Ooh, railway gate. Limiting chests. Chests can have their availability sl inventory slots limited by clicking the red X and then blocking the desired slots. I didn't know that. Rotating assembly machines. What? Some recipes require fluid input into the assembly machine. An assembly machine with a fluid out input can be rotated using R. Ooh. Ah, and that's all of them. Right, let's go. This is my buddy. Here we go. Can I get rid of that? Press tab. Okay, right. So it's W, A, S, and D to move around. We've got coal. I want some of that immediately. Ah, but I need to make a... It's E to access your inventory, and I need a tool. I need a pick. Pick. There we go. I'm just going to craft away for those. 
So you can craft by hand until you can automate. So now I've got a pick. You can see it's a lot faster to mine the coal. So we've got coal. We've got, oh, there's something in the water. See that? There's a fish. Oh, there's fish in this game. I never knew. <laughs> so unfortunately, the iron is over here, quite far away from the coal. That is a little bit of a problem to begin with. There's no coal near that deposit of iron. So that is unfortunate. So it's going to take me a while to get the coal over there. So let's whack down a drill. Question is, should I drill for coal or drill for... I think I'll manually gather the coal for now. So let's whack in that. Uh, so you just shift click and it goes in. And it will start producing iron. Fantastic. And I'm going to put a smelter next to that. So the iron will go into the smelter. But I don't have any coal. This stone's going to be really useful because it will allow me to build more furnaces. Oh, I get coal for it as well. You can see it says on the right what I get. So that only gives me stone, but the huge rock gave me coal. Sweet as. So let's just go ahead and whack in half my coal into that. And then half my coal into this. Shift click again, it just goes straight in. So I'll put that iron in as well. Now I'm creating iron plates. Fantastic. Job done. Need some more coal though. I would love some more. So it's any of the large rocks that have coal in them. Let's see if I can't find another one of those because they are really useful. Nope. Okay, down to coal we go. We've got copper. We're going to need that. That rock is only stone. We might need some wood at some point. Let's just take out a few trees. Ah, oh, man. Now, I know this game looks a little old, right? But there's a reason why it's incredibly popular. It's just... You just get lost in it. It's just really well done. And I, it can feel a bit complicated. I was certainly overwhelmed to begin with. And later on in the game, I still get overwhelmed. But it's just friggin' delicious. It's a friggin' delicious game. And it can run on older computers. I think it came out in like 2007. I think. Maybe not. That's a, that's a bit of a guess on my part, I'll be honest with you. Right, we got some coal. Now, unfortunately, we didn't get coal next to the iron, which is going to take a little while for us to get over there. I'm not going to lie. This running back and forth is a little bit of an issue. But that's the challenge of the game. We've got to figure it out. So I'm going to go ahead and take those iron plates and put that coal in. And let's see what I can craft. I can craft 10 stone furnaces and drills require stone furnaces and iron gears. So first things first, I'm going to just create all of those stone furnaces. And while they're producing, I'm going to gather some more stone. So now I have a shed load of furnaces, which can equal a shed load of stone. Uh, drills. <laughs> That's what I meant. I meant drills. Right, so uh, let's see. We can make two drills. Fantastic. So why they're building. Now iron cogs require uh, iron plates to make. So if we go to our build menu, you can see here iron cogs require two iron plates per cog. So that's quite expensive. So let's go ahead and make another drill. We can make two conveyors. We can make some burner inserters, but we're not there yet. We need iron plates and we need lots of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of my drills. You can see that they're in my hotbar down here. So if I press two, it will now access. So I'm going to put this here and then feed that with some coal, which I don't have. Uh, and that will be another iron plate smelter. But I'm not going to use the other two because I'm going to take them down here and I'm going to show you a nifty little trick. I might go to this coal up here. I think this coal will be easier to get to uh, than the one on the other side of the water. So I'm just going to go to this one instead. There we go. So. Here's what you do. So you see that yellow arrow on the drill? That shows you which way it poops coal out. So if you rotate this to do that, they will now feed each other. So you whack in a little bit of coal and they will just constantly feed each other. And the amount they use to be powered is less than the amount they produce. So you will get loads of coal. You just got to start them up. So we whack that in there. And now that one will feed the other one. And there we go. It will keep pooping coal into each other. And it's just self-perpetuating. As long as you've got coal, you're all good. And it's just really useful early on. So let's just do that. And there we go. So. Oh, hello. See, now that's got some coal in there. That's got some coal coming out. It's got 15 in there. 15 in there. I can take some of that. I might just take half of it. Oh. 
that's feeding into there. Okay, I'll take, I'll take eight coal. I might mine some whilst I'm here before I run back, because it is a little bit of a mission back and forth. So let's just take a little bit of coal. And now we need, like, a shed load of iron plates. Once we start... Once we're able to build conveyors, I will show you a nifty little trick with that. But really, what we need to do is get the coal over to the iron. That's what we need to do. So that's enough of that. So let's just run back. I don't think there's a sprint option. I might just uh, gather these as I run past. Because I'm going to need stone at some point. So let's just uh, run past and then do that. There we go. Yep. So I'm just holding right mouse button over this to harvest it. And there we go. There's some more trees. It's so it shows you plus four. And it shows you its total next to it. It's really useful. And back we are at the iron. So this needs some coal. So let's go ahead and put half the coal in there. And then shift click to dump all of our coal in there. There we go. Now that's feeding. Now if you shift click. Or is it control click? Right. Control click will just take out all of the iron plates from there. So as you can see I got a lot of iron plate. So I'm going to build one drill. And I'm going to build 16 transport belts. There we go. Now it takes a little while to build because I'm making the cogs. And then you make the conveyor. All of this can be automated. But for now I'm not at that point. So control click. I'll grab out the last of the iron plates. And just build... Shift click and build the last of those conveyors. <coughs> and I'll start getting the coal over here. Now I want the coal to come past the stone. And I think it will be smart to process some stone whilst we come past. We can split some of that coal off. Uh, but again, we're not there yet. So I'm going to take the drill. And we're going to put it... Uh, let's put it right there. Okay. And then with the conveyors, we're just going to go here. And then if you press R, it'll allow you to put a turn on it. And we're just going to go down like so. There we go. Oh, I got quite a lot of conveyor belts. Is that the last of it? No. Ooh. So I'm going to put a little turn in it there. And start going down. There we go. So, now as you can see, that is not producing any coal. But, I, so I, what I need to do is I need to make a burner inserter. Which costs three metal plates. So hopefully my metal plates have burnt a little bit. I should have grabbed the coal on the way back. I didn't do it. And that's like a wasted trip. Because really you want to go back and forth with stuff. But not to worry. There's still coal in here. I've got some iron plates. So let's build three inserters, right? Because we know we've got three drills. And then I'm going to make the rest into conveyors. I'll grab what's left there. And I'll use that to build conveyors. And then we'll head back. There we go. So what I'm going to do is the self-perpetuating coal thing. I'm going to change that into the new system and add that on so the coal will come along this conveyor. So we take the inserter and we put it so that the line is attached to the conveyor because that's where it grabs from. Okay. So now I'm just going to grab some coal. Oh, well, I don't have to do that actually. I can just take the coal from here. And I'll take half of this stack and then half again. So I've got loads of coal on me. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to whack some of that into there. And you'll see, when the coal comes out, it will feed the drill, if it can fit it in the drill. And the rest will poop out onto the conveyor. Pretty good, huh? So now I'm going to pack up this one and this one. And I'm going to place these in a similar position, like so. Like that and like that. And then we simply do this. And then connect them. Put on our inserters. Remember the flat on the conveyor. And then we whack in some coal. I only need to put in half of that. Just need to get it started. So now it will feed what it needs. And the excess will come on down the conveyor. Pretty good, huh? So there we go. We've got some coming down this conveyor. All's very good. Uh, make sure the arrows on the conveyor show the direction. So make sure you get that right. I think that's close enough to the stone. So let's move this along. We've run out. Grab a couple of stone. Oh, it's a big stone. There we go. My pick is still alright. You, you can see in the bottom left, uh, bottom right, there's my pick and it's degrading because I'm using it. If you hold F on the conveyor, that's pick up items off the ground. So you can see that I hoovered up everything along that conveyor. All very delicious. Nighttime, got my old uh, mining hat on, which is always a treat. So this is no longer processing, so I'm going to put half in there. Check the furnace, it's still got 10. So we take the plates out. We'll put that all into conveyors and we'll see if we can't get the coal over to the iron. 
that's mission number one. You can see on the mini map that there's a little line where it shows the conveyor, which is always useful. Let's grab what's left. Again, make conveyors. Once you've got one conveyor, you can add to it. And it's always a treat, but it gets really complicated. And I think that's the strength of this game that it can be as simple or as complex as you want. And I really, really enjoy that. Uh, right, so let's just continue these 32 squares and see if we can't get it even closer. That's pretty good now. So the run between the two, see, I'm probably going to reposition my drills here because that's the nearest point of the iron field. So I'll probably mine it from here. So I'll clear out a couple of the trees and then we'll continue. Not too shabby at all. Oh, we need some coal. Coal for you, you hungry, hungry machines. Now, there are creatures in this world that don't like the pollution that you generate. And they will try and mess up your day. So, you have to be careful with the pollution or simply be able to defend yourself. There we go, let's make some more of those. I might just take some more plates and then do this piecemeal. I mean, yeah, I could have another drill. Maybe I can build another drill. It requires some iron plates. So, you know what? I might have another drill. Mm, so, I need six plates. Hmm. Why aren't you allowing me to make that? Oh, now you will. Thank you. Whee! Where's that conveyor? Oh, it's pretty close. Let's just hoover up that coal. And also, when I have to walk back, if you walk along the conveyor, you're faster because the conveyor propels you. You know those things at airports, those conveyors, those flat conveyors? It's exactly the same thing. Right. Give me your plate. I am going to... I've got one drill. I think I'm going to take uh, another drill. And let's position them right here. Okay. So we've got our drills. And it can go there. And uh, uh, let's try like that. Okay. So at the moment, no coal. But we've got loads of coal on us. So we can just split that. Do the same. Put those on there. All good. So, without a conveyor, it just poops cut iron there and then doesn't really do much else. So, it will need conveyors. But for now, just having it there ready is good. Let's start getting the infrastructure in. So, we need two burner inserters to put in and only conveyors to get it out. So, let's just keep making these. How many conveyors do we have? Eight, ten. All right. So, we need to get here. So, conveyor... Conveyor. That's output, right? And that's fine. We've got output of iron. But now we need input of coal. So I guess the coal will have to come in here. You must leave a space for the grabbers. Uh, and when you rotate in, it's easier to come in to the turn rather than going the other way around. So, so we have that. Now that I've built that, the issue is that it's not being fed. So we need our two inserters for our coal. And then we need to match up those two sections of cable, uh, conveyor. And we're good. We will start feeding the iron. And we will start having iron coming in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that. And just whack that into a furnace. There we go. Not bad, huh? Now we've got 21. I think that should be enough to connect. And what I like to do is I like to try and keep it semi-organized and I don't like to put too many turns into my conveyors. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna delete this one and it's gonna come down like that and then hook up like so. Which means this needs to be like there if I'm not mistaken. Ah, oh, good eye, good eye table. Well done, buddy. So, again, oh no, wrong one. Like that, then turn this and straight down. Yeah, there we go. Now, coal, because what will happen is these inserters need coal to be powered. So they power themselves and then they will start feeding the drills. So we're all good in that department. There we go. They're a bit slow, but they will automate it. So now I have iron coming in. I've got coal from up there coming down this pathway. It's feeding this and iron's pooping out. Amazing, huh? Exactly. So uh, now the next step is to get some electricity. 
because you can get these electric mining drills which are pretty useful and also i need to start producing these things called science packs which unfortunately require copper so what i need to do is i need to somehow feed coal down to the copper deposit which unfortunately is all the way down here so that's a little bit of a problem as well so do i improve my steel plate production so that it doesn't take so long to build the conveyor yeah for certain we definitely need to do that because it's already built i've got coal and i've got the metal there so i can't manufacture it that's a tech okay so let's just uh let's just do this so we've got coal and we've got iron so at the moment it's going to be rather basic so what we're going to do did I grab out the iron? Okay. Let's make these. I've got some furnaces. So we've got coal. We need to get the coal and the iron either side of a furnace to feed it. And then we have to just take it out manually. So I'm going to whack down these two. Uh, and then... Is that spe one space above? No, it's not, is it? So I'm going to pick those up because I want it to be uniform. So we're going to do that. Uh, and then I'll pick up these. Oh, we've got three. Okay, perfect. So I go one, two, and three. Table, why have you left a gap, I hear you say? Well, that will become apparent when we use electricity. But actually, for the first one, I don't need to worry about that because this is a primitive, primitive automation. So we've got that. This will be for the coal line. And then we need to hook them up. So we get rid of that one and that one. And then we go here. Oh. Now you see I fluffed that up a little bit. So now iron's coming in. And then this one will be the coal. We've got more than enough coal coming in. So it can go past there. And then... Oh man, I did it again. In you go. So now we've got coal coming in. Coal, iron. It's all ready to get fed and to get started. So all we need are six inserters. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the rest can be the conveyors. Perfect. <laughs> right. So, flat side to conveyor. One, two, three. And then we need to put in the iron. One, two, three. There we go. Ah, now here's an issue. The inserters are not powered by coal. So, we need to get creative with this. Now, it said in the tutorial about it grabbing from both lanes, but we don't have splitters yet or filters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat a little bit and run this all the way around to here and then to there and then whack it in like so. So it will take that other side. Wink! Ha <laughs> ha! So now it will grab from there instead. Pretty smart, huh? Pretty friggin' smart. So I can just pack up these. Pretty good, huh? It's gone round, and now it's both feeding on that one, and it will take from both. So now I've got a lot more iron plate being produced. Now these ones are becoming a little bit redundant. So if I could extend this line, I can feed as many furnaces as I want. So I'm going to go ahead and grab up these. There we go. And then if I just remove this section for now... And then put in the extra two furnaces. And then simply extend it. Like so. And extend this. Like so. There we go. Like that. Yeah. And then we make two more. Well, no, we don't need to make two more. Because we've got the excess from the previous idea. There we go. Now it's feeding those two as well. Now we have five smelters going. And they're just being fed. Friggin' super fantastic balls, huh? Exactly. So we just grab out all the plates. No plates being done with those ones yet. So there we go. Not too bad, huh? As long as we keep this fed with iron and this fed with coal, we'll be fine. We've got a massive backlog of coal, as you can see. Not in itself a huge issue. But we could do with some more iron. So how about we utilise this space that we have here. We need one more filter inserter. Uh, not filter inserter, just inserter. Burner inserter, sorry. And we whack it here. It's better not to put it on the... Well, no, it's fine, actually. But I'm going to keep it uniform. So they're now being fed 
and then we can put that here and feed it in. There we go. So now we've just doubled our iron ore production. So there's even more iron ore coming in. It all joins this conveyor, goes around, and everything's super, super happy fun times. Good. Now you can see that all five furnaces are not being fed with enough iron. I am not producing enough iron to feed this iron plate production, which is a good place to be. Now I have some excess iron on me, which I'm going to stick in so that I don't carry it around. There we go. Now, let's produce some electricity, shall we? Or better still, we should get some research. Ah, we need electrical circuits for our research lab. So we don't really need electricity yet. We're not really there yet. Once we get copper, then we're on electri electrical power. But we first need to uh, get copper and get coal toward to the copper as well. So we need a shed load of conveyors because I'm not bringing that stuff over manually. Manually! Okay, good. Iron's coming in. Everything's good. Now, the issue is that we have coal, but we have no way to split it off yet. So I'm probably going to need to make some I'm gonna one two three four five let's just make that many so I need to make some drills and I'm probably gonna run an independent coal independent line for coal for towards the copper because extending this one is not going to help me uh, so let's have uh, let's just have let's just make all these drills for now and then we can see what the situation is up, up the top. I need some more iron plate before I go because I need some more burner inserters. So let's just let's just get nine. I mean, it's a bit excessive, but you can see here that your own personal build queue soon gets clogged up. And that does become an issue, much more of an issue later on. But for now, we're good. Uh, right, so let's head on over. So we need to get coal. Now, if we had the uh, the splitter, that would really help us out. I wonder what we need to research to get that. Let's have a look. Hmm. Ah, okay. Logistics. Faster and more flexible ways of transportation. So that would split it. That would help us immediately. But for now, we're not there because you need to power the research lab with electricity. And we're just not there yet. So let's go ahead and just produce, put down another coal thing uh, and get some coal going towards the copper. So again, same as before, we need to turn this way. Now this, you don't have to build it like I'm about to, and it's a bit lavish to do that, to do it doubling up like that, but I just like how it looks, all right? We've got loads of conveyor, I just like how it looks. Don't judge me. I just think it looks really pretty. So we're going to do that. It looks like a nice little self-contained unit. We've got a lot of iron plate kicking about. That's the wrong way around. So let's put that there. And then all we need to do is feed one. So we put wax and coal in here. And that will feed all the others. The first, first burner, the second one. Then that will start going. So it will start to grow and everything will be delicious. Now what I want to do put this here and go that way yeah that's what I want to do there we go I like just making things look a little uniform so we're going to cut through the forest any trees that are in the way we can just uh oh that's a bit of a mish actually that was probably a mistake plus I can't see where the conveyor is Yeah, I should not have gone through this forest. I should have checked first. Yeah, give me the conveyor back. <laughs> I really regret going into there. <laughs> that was a mistake. Okay, so Carl's coming along there. Where's the copper deposit? kind of all up in the forest isn't it what about this deposit is this in the forest as well no okay so we're gonna go here this is never a good idea oh hello stone so it's the bottom of the stone deposit 
Okay, that's not a problem. We can use that. We might need to be able to grab, get some fuel for the stone as well. Now we're here, so we need to go this way and then down. And it's that one, isn't it, if I'm not mistaken? Yeah, that's right. Cool. Right, let's go get those. So, now the good thing about our iron is that it's self-producing. So, I should be able to run back and just grab off a load of iron plates. As you can see, these last furnaces are still not getting stocked. So, even more iron is required to fill these uh, smelts to capacity. There's just not enough iron getting through. And that's fine for now. We're not getting iron through in any particularly large amounts. But we do need more conveyors. So, we got down to the copper. I'm going to need a drill. Let's whack you there. And so this would be the coal. So I need to move one over. Mm, that's going to be a bit awkward because I'm not going to be fully in the copper. Well, let's put it here. And I'll just re-wiggle that. It's fine. My OCD will be okay. Okay. Still making the gears. See the problem? It's so slow. Making the gears. It's so freaking slow, slows. Let's go back and grab some more plates. Thank you. I'll make another drill. How many cop I've got I've got four iron, so I have four copper. I'm gonna take this opportunity to build a boiler. And I need some more iron plates for that to make pipe. There we go. So at least I've got it built, you know? And I will need some pipe as well. So let's just, uh, well, I need a tap as well. Electric circuits. We're not there yet. We're not there. Really? So, there should be some coal coming down here. No, not yet. I think there's a gap still. Yeah, there's still a gap. Okay. There's two gaps, in fact. So we whack the coal in. There we go. Coal's now coming down. We need to feed these copper. Let's do that. Here we go along here so we can feed the copper. So we've got another drill. Let's. Oh no, we've got more than a couple. We've got four, didn't we? Yeah, we did get four. Sweet. So I can feed all of these. There we go. One, two, three, four. Remember the line indicates where it grabs from and the triangle where it goes. So now, copper's now pooping out. So if we put conveyors here, we've got copper. Pretty good, huh? So let's send this back up here to our smelting zone. Because we can afford it. There we go. So we've got our smelting zone. And we've got copper coming in. Copper ore, in fact. So now we need to get some coal over to that. So how are we going to do this? Can we split the coal? Mm, not yet. We're not there yet. So we need to keep it quite basic, quite simple. So I think I want to run some coal down to here in some way, shape or form. But I'm not sure how to go about it. Um, to be honest, really not sure how to go about it. Hmm. And that's pooping coal on uh, copper onto both sides of the conveyor. How did I split the iron? I didn't split the iron. I ran the coal and then put the iron on. Ah, okay. So. It's difficult. Until I can go under these conveyors, it's very difficult to do. So how about we just do this? Oh, how do we do this? Hmm. Well, I need copper being smelted anyway, so let's just whack down two of these. I'm going to do this the, with the old design, all right? So it's going to be the old design idea. So we whack down those four, and then we have... Oh, but I can't power them. Shite. Uh, just do it manually. Just grab everything and just whack it in. Copper. And then just go coal, copper. Maybe just do that. Just grab the coal from the platform. Just whack it in. Just do it manually. We don't need too much, I guess. Copper. 
Yeah, we'll do it manually for now. We we'll get that first research going. So once we start getting copper plate, we can make electronics. Uh, so coal, copper, you're welcome. Whoop. Nice. And then that one as well. Coal, no copper's got got yet. So let's just run along here and hoover up everything. Um, yum 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. There we go. Cool. So we're manually, manually feed this one. Uh, there we go. So we're now making copper plate. So now I suspect we'll be able to make that tap. Yeah, we can. So I'll make a tap. I need some pipe. So I still need some more iron. But we know that our iron is automated. So there we go. I'll grab a shed load of plate. I need one, two, three, four, five, six of those. And then just some of these. Just a handful. There we go. So we've got our tap, we've got our water pipe, we've got our boiler, we've got our thingy generator. Excellent. We now have an electric mining drill. But what we first need to do is science. That's the first thing we need. So we'll get two research places. Uh, and I will have one of those as well. Great. So we're out of copper. But that's okay because it's, be it's being produced in small amounts, admittedly. But we will automate it shortly. Great. So there's the copper. Uh, let's make just a couple more of those. And then we can start whacking down power. So we know where the water is. It's down here. Even though I went up. Or uh, awkward. Uh, I'll take that stone. It's always worth grabbing stuff as you run past. Right. So first things first. We put down the tap. And it's got to be on one of these nodes. So let's go to that one. And then we go pipe. Pipe. And we need to put down our boiler. Now remember, the steam outlet is that big one. And then you can have them stacked off against each other. So if we do that, and then connect that there, it's now got water. But if we put on one of... Oh, it needs coal. Poopy, poopy Tron, I forgot about that. I really did forget about that. So we'll put it this way round. Okay. And then we need a conveyor. Like so. We need a burner inserter. So it will feed itself and it will feed that. Let's just put that there. And we need to get coal down here. Ah, oh, such a pain. Ah, wait, hang on. We can extend this. We're good. We're fine. We're going to extend this with our many conveyors. Once we get the splitters, it gets a little bit better. But for now, we're just going to run a line uh, here. Like so. There we go. And we get the coal over to here. Now, we need to. what we need to do is these pipes here go underground. So what we do then is we delete that one, put that there. Delete that, delete that. And so it's still a pipe, but it's just underground now. And that will allow us to do this. And I'm going to do one of my lavish loops again. So excessive doing it like that. But I just think it looks really, really pretty. So we do that. <laughs> Run this along here. And then we've got coal. Which will then in turn heat the water. Turning it to steam. And whacking it in the boiler. Which goes there. There we go. And now we need to put down a power line. Power pole. There we go. So it doesn't complain. And then you'll see it will start feeding it coal. And then we will start producing steam power. Yeah, buddy. In you go. Fantastic. Good stuff. Num, 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 num. And then that thing will start generating power. So now we have electricity. How delicious is that, huh? We got electricity. We need to manually feed some copper in. Because we need to get these research things. So there we go. Let's just grab that. Rum, yum, 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 yum. Grab the copper. And just whack in some coal. And some copper. And we'll just take out all the copper plate that we've manufactured. And that should see us through. We should get through to the part, the kind of point we want to be at, to be honest. I'm going to grab up some more, some more iron, uh, copper, sorry. Whoop. And uh, there we go. Sweet. So that's going in. We've got power. I need two research buildings. So let's put the research buildings not too far away. Let's put them there, right? Now, we saw from the instruction thing that you can manually, uh, you can transport uh, 
the research bottles between them. So you only really need one entrance, but you can't use the burner inserters. You're going to have to go for the electric ones. They're also a little quicker, so they're pretty good in that respect. So let's go two of those. We need some conveyors. And we've got some power poles already, okay? So we're going to go one to transfer from there to there. And this is where the potions will... Well, we don't need it yet, actually. We can just uh, leave it like that for now. So power poles become a bit complicated. Because you try and keep them uniform. Uh, and I like to keep them as neatly as neat as possible. I prefer not to have a bird's nest of wires. So that's a little bit not uniform, but having that space is okay. So now that's powered, right? So what I need now is research potions. So I can make 45. Now it will take a while because I've got to make 40, 42 cogs and then the potions themselves. So you want to automate it as, as quickly as possible. But we're not there at that point yet. So in the meantime, I'm going to grab up some plates. I'm going to grab up the copper. I'm going to refeed the copper hoppers. Copper, copper smelters. I wish they were called hoppers. Refeed the, the, the copper and then take it from there. Roop. There we go. Uh, so again, whack in the copper, whack in the coal. Whack in the coal, whack in the copper. Whack in the coal, whack in the copper. And whack in the copper. Bingo. There we go. So they're now being fed. Research bottles are now being produced. I've got five. So I'm going to put that in now. Ah, but I need to start some research. So we want the one. I believe it's called logistics. And it will give us the underground belts, fast inserters, and most importantly of all, the splitters. And it requires 10, uh, 20 red ones. So I'm going to start researching that. Now we've got two, so it's going to work twice as fast. And as long as I keep feeding into there. I like that it can feed across like that. That's very smart. I'm loving that a lot. So we can research this quicker if we can build another research lab, which we can. I'm going to build another two. And I'm going to build two more electric inserters. But you can see that because the potions take so friggin' long that it's going to have to... It's going to have to wait its turn, which is unfortunate. But still, it's getting done. And I can have the stuff saved. Uh, I can have the stuff saved, ready to go, once it's researched, you know? There we go. All good. Lovely. Lovely, mate. Don't mind if I does. So, all getting produced. Um, it's, you know, it's all good. I should have built more of the sciencey things first. But I'm going to stick to having the 45 potions, because it will do the next tech as well. I can, I can fill up this while I'm waiting. Yeah, and it needs filling. There we go. Uh, whoop. Winkers! Winkers! Oh, uh, winkers! Bingo. Done. Still going. So, yeah, you can see that the research takes a little while. The, the more research places, the better, really. Now, I'm sure there's probably a more efficient way to have done things to begin with, but I'm very happy with what's going on. I've got all the materials going where I need it to go. I've progressed a little bit. Am I a bit spread out? Yeah, a little bit. Do I have stone yet? No, I need to fire some stone. But once these splitters come in, it will be a lot more useful because I can combine my coal uh, sources and then increase it. You know, so I'm feeding in way more coal. Now the issue is, if I double up this line, then no, the iron no longer gets in. So that's I've got to be careful for that. Whee! And I need to split this off sooner so that I can get the coal come into the copper. You know? You get me? Yeah, you get me. Uh, how's my research doing? Nearly done. Fantastic. I'm going to whack in the rest of these. And we're good! Research done. So what did this one give me? This one give me the ah, the assembly machine, which I do want. I do want the assembly machine. And the long-handed inserter. Yes, I want that one. The long-handed inserter is very, very useful. Um, I was almost entirely dependent on it for a time. There we go. Right. So now we've got these delicious splitters, right? So I'm going to take four splitters. 
and four underground belts, okay? So we can start fixing this mess that I've got going on here. That's all okay. So, where are my splitters? Oh, I'm still doing I'm still doing research potions. Okay. Come on, in you go. <clears throat> in you go. Come on, research potions. Do your thing already. Whoop. Ah, I can build some more electronic. So I want the fast inserters just because they're more fun. And I want some long inserters as well. So let's just get put those on the to-do list. I'll take some more of those. There we go. So now it's the research lab's turn. Thank you. So another one and uh, don't have the inserters yet, but that's fine. I'm gonna start swapping them out for fast inserters. Automation is done. So now for the next research, I'm probably gonna to wanna to go defenses. I think some turrets would be useful. What's this one give me? Oh, that's all I've just done. What's the next stage of this give me? Ah, so I need green as well. I'm not at that point yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and get turrets. Because I'm going to need to start killing things once they start showing up. Defense is very friggin' important. So let's put those on. Uh, where's my extra researching places? You know what? I'm going to put on a regular insert. I don't need a fast one for that. There we go. And then... Oh, no, you need to go in there. Thank you. There we go. Now my research is a lot quicker. But it's finite. So I'll probably get turrets and then... I'm not sure I have enough to complete another one. I love that that you can pass them between. It's so it's so useful. Right, I've got turrets. So splitters. Let's get the coal. So what you do is you whack it like this, right? And it will take like one of them. Uh, oh, I've got. I don't have enough conveyors. Let's grab up this iron. So weird. Come on, conveyors, do your thing. So I've got fast inserters now, and I've got long inserters. So you can modify the way you do these things now. And I'll show you the old way that I did them once I've got some conveyors. So we put on fast inserters, and we put them like this. So we go fast inserter, fast inserter. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Because you need to do it. Uh, you need to separate them because you need to get power lines in. So they have to be separate. So again, rotate this. Grab and grab. We've got our long-handed inserters. You can see it's twice as long. So you'll put them in like that. Like so. And then we'll have another cable eventually. Come on, cable. I know I've queued up a load of inserters, but maybe I've queued up too many inserters. And it's going pretty quick. I'm just gonna queue those all on. Yeah, man. Well, I can run power lines. No, I can't even run power lines yet. I need to produce some power lines. Okay. Come on, Cox. Come on. Right. While that's doing its thing, then we can just wait a bit. Uh, might put that power line there. There we go. Fine. That's all good. Ah oh, man, I don't want to. I don't want to remove my production queue. I'll be honest. There we go. Now it's gonna. We're gonna get conveyors really, really soon. So, not to worry. We've got two, so I can do this. So like that and like that. And then this will come along like so. So we need to go to at least there. And then get the coal coming down. Bingo, there we go. Don't mind if it does. So now the coal's coming along this way and the long inserter will grab the coal, the fast inserters will grab the copper and then they will start getting fed. Once they have power. <laughs> Oopsie, kind of forgot about that power, didn't I? Once the power's there. Can I split something else off as well in the meantime? Um, let's see, so that's single, that's single coal going into those. And I think I can double that coal up, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here all the way to here. And I'm going to put in a little combiner device. So basically, I'm going to put it in 
I'm going to put this right here and then put in a single bit of conveyor so it feeds into each other. So now what it will do is every other one will join the other side of the conveyor and that means that it will feed all the way along down here and combine in together. So it won't be it won't just be one lane, it will like combine up the stock, so to speak. And it will go all the way along and it will be delicious. And what I'm also going to do is in the interest of speeding it up, I'm going to put a combiner here because we know we already have an excess amount of stuff. So I'll just put that in there now. So that will clear some of the backlog and we have just lots of coal ready to go in the power plant. So it'll be all fully combined and just let it fill up and sit there and everything will be delish. Right, we got our power lines. Let's get these power lines in. So I'm going to need one there, one here, one there. And then we just simply move that along and it snaps to the grid. So now we have automated copper production. These are clearly full, so let's just take out the copper from those. You're going to put a... Uh... Ah, now you see the problem here. These are the, the wrong way around. They need to be this way around. There we go. They're the right way around. So why aren't they throwing in? I guess they don't need to. They're pretty full. I guess they throw it in when they need it. Right, so automated copper production, fan friggin' tastic. We need to automate the production of research bowls. So they require copper plates and iron gears, right? So we have copper plates, but we don't have iron gears and we need more iron. We don't have enough iron coming in here to feed these insatiable monsters. So what I'm gonna show you is the electric mining drills. Now we need some iron and some copper. So let's grab out these plates and put in some copper. There we go. And then we can make some. So let's just have, let's have four. I think four is reasonable. We're going to need to do some construction. So I'm going to build two of those. And let's go over here and let our power poles dictate the location. So we're going to go here and then to there. Maybe we shouldn't let the power poles dictate it actually. Uh, let's have a look. So, oh no, stop building them. Fable, you're building too many. Fable, you're building too many. All right, there we go. So, this is the edge here. I think we can get away with having them there. We will need to put a space in because we're going to need to feed them into this already existing patch. So we need to have a space of one. So let's do that and do two and then leave a gap and put in two. There we go. So there's our four. Now let's run some power up there and try and keep it as uniform as possible. So we can put it here, but it doesn't power it, you can see. But it fits in nicely with these, so we could power these with electricity. So we can upgrade that system. But in the meantime, we need to put one here and then... So you can see that it's gone a little bit wonky but it's powered. That's fine. So we'll take these out. Uh, Wink is. Uh, ah, now the power pole is in the way, but we have the devices already that can deal with that. I don't want to move the power pole. So we're going to go like that. And you'll see in a second, that it's going to get a bit squiggly, but ultimately everything's going to be okay. And we'll whack that in like so. That can just feed into there. And then we go underground belt, we rotate it like so, and then it can just go underneath like that. So it will go underneath the power pole. And I want to do the same here, but we can't go that far. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this one. We don't want it anymore. I'll press F to pick up the coal off the floor. And this section will go under and we will feed into here. There we go. Now you can see here that I've missed a conveyor. So now, loads of irons coming in. There we go. Now to be honest, I don't think I need to have this bump. I think I can get away with that and just have this. Which I can, there we go. Much, much simpler. Didn't need to do the little kink and the little turn thing. So now we've got a lot more iron coming in. Happy times. So I wanna show you manufacturing now. 
We're kind of getting up to that point now where little monsters might start turning up and trying to eat us because of the pollution. But will we get there within the hour? I'm not so sure. Ah, right. So my pickaxe is broken. That's how long. That's because it took so long to kill that tree. Ooh, light armor. I think I'll have some of that. Turrets, radars. Ooh. Uh, pickaxe. There we go. I'll take two of those. I'll take some repair packs. Right, so we've now you can see that we've got loads of iron coming in. Happy times for the iron. We don't necessarily... We need to get the iron plate out because we need to manufacture cogs. And this area doesn't really need to have... It doesn't really need to be above ground. Let's be honest. So let's see how far we can stretch this. We can stretch it that far. And then we put one again there. And we can stretch it to there. There we go. So now we've got some room to get these copper plates out. Sort of. Because this is in the way of this one. So I'm probably just going to re like reduce my smelter production of iron. In, in the interest of making this look pretty. So now we go like this. Because they're not connected. Because they go underground. So they come out like so. Uh, like so. Well, I mean, to be honest, it doesn't need to, it doesn't need to go that way either. It can go this way. So like that. We, and then uh, it can continue along like so, and it can feed in there. Get rid of that iron. So now what we need is we need some fast removers to grab out our iron plate. Now I don't like to have it on a bend. I don't know. I don't think it works very well. So in the interest of uniformity we'll put them like that. And then we just need to power them. Like so. There we go. And out come all the iron plates you could possibly want. Fantastic. And they're all on one side as well which is even better because we need to put iron plates. Oh no they need to be produced into iron Iron cogs, don't they? So let's combine these. I love doing this thing. I love having an inserter feeding into itself like that. I just love it. I think having a double lane just looks exquisite. I just think it looks really friggin' delicious. I'll be honest. Right. Construction place. Manufacturing place. So, uh, let's put you there. And then we just go turn like this. Like so. We put on a fast inserter and you'll start sticking those in once you have power. Uh, that's a bit awkward, but it needs to be powered. So you're going to make iron cogs. Now you're being fed, you're making iron cogs. All good. So then iron cogs will come out of here. Mm -hmm. So we'll put on a faster. Uh, we don't have a fast inserter. Come on, fast inserter. We're coming to the end. <coughs> We're coming to the end of the vid. So, I'll put down this fast inserter so you can see the little cogs coming out. And there's cogs. Yay. I'm just going to stack this together. I love doing it. Right, okay. And there's some cogs coming out. So, right. So, there we go. Right, that's an hour of this game. You can see how things are shaping up. It's pretty friggin' awesome, let's be honest. Um, if you like resource management strategic building uh, it's got the element of you being attacked as well so it kind of feels a little bit like a tower defense as well because the enemies get progressively more violent you can build tanks and trains and all kinds of things um i haven't completed the game it has multiplayer so if you can get a group of people that you know and trust and like and enjoy hanging out with and play this game together it can be insanely fun it really can um I really love this game. I think it's worth the full price as well, to be honest. It's not often on a Steam deal because it is so popular, but I think it's worth it. I mean, it's like this hour's just flown by for me, and all I've done really is just produce some metal cogs. But it's just so fun. And this is just the tip of the iceberg as far as how complicated it gets. It gets really complicated. Remember, it's in the tutorial about fluids and stuff as well, liquids, all kinds of things. So I would say, yeah, it's worth buying. I've been telling you, well, you can support me on Patreon. Uh, we have a Discord as well. So if you can't do that, you can always come and just hang out with us and say hi. That'd be amazing. It's also good for us, you know, for setting up matches. And when we, when we do play recorded matches of games, um, you could support me directly via PayPal. 
or via support a creator on Epic. Uh, and that's all, guys. Have a great day, man. Uh, have yourself a you know a good day, and uh, I'll see you again soon for another for another video. In the meantime, take care of yourself, guys. I, I'm just repeating myself now. <laughs>